Hey YouTube viewers, it's John. I hope you guys are doing well on this Tuesday. I'm in the five minute pool once again, and looks like we have ourselves a slow slav. The slow slav is where black develops the bishop freely to f5. I think this line is rather nice for black, and he's playing it in a way I've never seen before. He's throwing his kingside pawns at me. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm rather intrigued to find out. I'm going to play knight e7 and then try to get the knight to f5. He does have a nice outpost on e5 now, by virtue of how he's set up his position. But I think my knight coming to f5 will give me good play because I'm eyeing that g3 square. Let's go rook b8. It feels like the right move. Also, I have no qualms about castling kingside, even though his setup seems menacing over on this wing. I'm really safe behind this wall of pawns. So I like that. So I'm going to castle. I would expect him to move his light square bishop now. OK, place rook c1. Well, I want to go for a pawn break, be it f6 or you know maybe c5 somewhere, or even take and then b5, another standard pawn break in this type of position. Hmm. I'm going to postpone any decision for a second. I just want to see how he commits his pieces. He does that. Hmm. You know. I'm very torn here. Deciding which pawn break to go for. I'm going to choose a middle of the road strategy. I'm going to do that. I kind of I wanted to play b5, but I wasn't sure about the consequences of queen takes c6. So c5 seems like a nice compromise. Maybe I could have played a6 to guard the b5 square, because knight b5 might be a decent option for him. I'm also giving his knight the e4 square, but I feel like my compensation, uh, as far as breaking up his center, will be good. So now my principal ideas are stuff like knight b6, or if he does go knight e4, b5 might be interesting. Uh, I can play rook fc8. That's one piece that's not participating. So I'm comfortable with this setup. I'm just going to use my time to figure out who this guy is. Good use of time, right? Checking up on your opponent. <laughs> okay, this guy's anonymous. Very decent blitz rating, though, or five minute rating. It's a tough call for him, too. I mean, you see, we're both spending a lot of time on uh, the previous move or two. Wait, isn't that bad because of knight b6? What is he going to do about knight b6? do it. And then I have this move, right? Well, I guess you can play queen b5. Q to b5. Hmm. I'm just going to take And then get this rook involved. Oh, but I'm hanging my bishop, my knight if I do that. Yikes. Didn't see that. Oh, that's annoying. Is it that big of a deal? Just thinking of discovered attacks I would have if I did go for this. Hmm. I'd hate to have to play queen e6 here. I don't like that move. Rook fd8, bishop takes f5, bishop takes f4, queen b3, let's say. 
So I might have some rook takes d2 stuff as well, but that doesn't seem to quite work. You know what? I'm going to do this because I don't want to burn much more time. And I want to give him the decision. This could be totally unsound, but we'll find out shortly. Like, queen takes c5. Uh, for some reason, I thought rook takes d2 would be good. But I am foolish. Oh, that sucks. Now queen c2 is safe. Ouch. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's time to go into swindle mode. Poor decision making with that capture on d5. That was ugly. Ugly. I have a loose idea with queen g3, or queen d6, trying to get into the g3 square with this. But basically now I'm going to play fast and <laughs> try to make the best of a bad situation. Usual story for me, right? Hmm. Let's do that. I mean, he still has to be somewhat careful with his king safety. It's not a walk in the park for him. Probably play rook back to g1 now. Just going to annoy him. He should play probably rook ce1, yep. go here. Take me so I can get some play down the f-file. <laughs> Please take it. And then take on g6. Or do that, which is much stronger. Well, now I'm pretty well and truly lost, but again, I'm going to attempt to swindle him. Hmm. Let's keep pieces on the board. If Rook G1, I'll play Rook F8. Let us see what we can do with this position. Bishop c5, we'll play rook d8 check. Move to point. Okay, bishop a5 check might be a threat. Check. Pure swindle Time. mode. Bishop a5, let me play it. I'm going to get my rook trapped. That's pretty funny. There's not much I can do about it. What? Well, yeah, I did get my rook trapped. Check. That's funny. It's kind of funny. Maybe I can do a stalemate somehow. All right, this is rather shameless. Check. I'm just going to play on in the vain hope of a stalemate. <laughs> Check. 
checkmate. <laughs> All right. I was not proud of that game. Chuchandra. He got me. Uh, I'm going to fast forward to the critical position in my mind, which was right about here. The goings on in this position. Hmm. Because I was debating all these ver these pawn breaks, right? Like D takes C4, um, F6, and then even moves like C5. So I took on C4, but then I expressed some hesitancy about playing the move B5, which is usually the way to go once you capture on C4 in these Slav structures. But uh, you know he could take on C6 then. I wasn't sure because after this. You know, if he plays queen e4, that works out great because I have discovered attacks, like let's say, you know, knight g3, for instance, discovered attacks on his queen. But um, queen a6 was the problematic move, and I didn't see a good way for me to follow up. So therefore, I played c5, but then after d5, here, here, yeah, I got into trouble with this knight. It didn't dawn on me that when I take... I'm losing a valuable defender of the knight. And now I probably should have sucked it up and played queen e6. But that somehow felt like um, I had to go back on my plan. But sometimes you have to do that in chess, right? Like, you have to admit that your plan failed. Instead, I tried this, which I'm pretty sure is unsound. So the other alternative I was considering was c4 in this position. And then after queen b5, then taking... But that suffers from a similar problem, you know? And here my c4 pawn is vulnerable as well. So let's just check the engine right here. Let's see what it says. Rook fd8. Okay, so it wants to build up a little bit. You know, I mentioned the move a6. I, th I don't think a6 would be that bad of a move either. I was a little concerned about him doing something like this. Oh, actually, okay, so the computer points out he might have a resource like this, and I'm running into a similar problem with the knight. Why is that the case? Like, if this, did you just take and then play d4? Yeah. Okay, and my pieces are all mucked up. And if I move the knight back to e7, let's say, then bishop takes e6 check, check is a disaster. Hmm. Well, taking seems justified c5, here, knight b6. Ooh, I don't like the fact that that eval is so strong. <laughs> Computer can't quite make up its mind, but it says rook bd8. So get the rook on the file immediately. I mean, that gives good x-ray potential on his bishop on d2. So I can certainly see the value in that. What about this line? C4 here. Is taking no good? and yeah, taking's not good. So I needed to exercise some patience and play a move like that. So that if takes, I assume just take, whoops, take with a pawn. And his king is always vulnerable. You know, it's never truly safe on that square or on that wing. Well, I'm happy with the way I played the opening. I just didn't play this phase of the game well. Yeah, this was already a big mistake, taking on d5. What was the engine saying? Queen e4 was better. Intriguing. And he can just take the material. I, I, I didn't see queen take c5 either. I thought queen b3 was forced. In which case, I guess it's a little murkier. But, um, yeah, I was hoping for something like... I mean, this... This type of line doesn't even make sense, because I don't know why he'd go to c4 when his bishop's hanging, but I was hoping Check. for something like this. And then invade Check. with my queen, and black is uh, <laughs> winning. So that didn't happen, though. Queen takes c5. Yeah, and the rest was, quite honestly, me just flailing around and trying to shamelessly win on time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Check. At any point, was there anything truly interesting going on? I got my rook all boxed Check. in on b5. He could have won it like at almost any point once it was back on the b5 square. Yeah, like already right here, king c4. Yeah, I'll spare you guys the rest. Checkmate. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this one. 
I have half a mind to record another video today because I'm not happy with my last couple games. So we'll see if I have the time to do that. But um, enjoy your Tuesday, everyone. And please leave me any feedback in the comments. You guys are giving me some great feedback, and I think these videos have, have led to some real good discussions. So I hope to be able to answer your questions or any other things that you want to ask me. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.